let's travel to a different place, maybe. When I say I travel to a different place, I mean the place I just went, but... <laughs> Let's see if I can't uh, do a little better this time. Hey guys, I'm back. If you could drop some life gems, that would be great. So, wanted to uh, go a particular way. It's like, I'm not taking no for an answer. Come on, come on. Oop. Sucks to be you. Hollow infantry gloves. And a life gem. See if I can't uh, make short work of this guy. Then go for this guy. Nope. Oh. Damn it. Too eager by half, I think. Nope. Not letting me get behind him. This guy knows his shields. Yeah. What do you have to say for yourself? Okay. You're easy enough. What's the chances I could uh, do a bit better this time? I'm gonna say, last time did not go well for me. There was an archer and some other stuff. Oh, hello. Controlling bad guy. Oh well, no time like the present. Oh, damn it. Now, let's dance around for a second while I try and figure out where that archer is. Also, that guy in the center looks like he might be a threat. Hollow infantry helm. If I hug the wall, the archer should leave me alone, I think. Life gem actually did quite a bit for me. It's just, uh. It's slow. Anyway, I think I'm okay for here for the second. Hollow infantry helm. Basic piece of minimal equipment. Worse, yes, almost falling apart. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Junk armor. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Is there a way up there that doesn't involve me going through a fog wall? How many of these items can I get without aggroing that guy in the middle? I'm certain that guy in the middle is a troublemaker. Then again, maybe I don't have a choice. Maybe the best way is just to get rid of him. I'll take a look from further away. Okay, the 
couches over there. Yoink. So you really not care about me? Seems woefully unlikely, but hey. Wonder if he's gonna come after me or something. Well, there's a ladder. Don't mind if I do. But I want that archer gone. Infantry boots, more junk basically. Let's keep an eye out. Don't see anyone else around here to interfere with me murdering this guy. But, it's not like they would advertise themselves. Whew, those little hops are uh, difficult to get used to. Short sword, soul of the lost undead. Well, the short sword is nice, I guess. I do want to know what that guy in the middle is, though. He probably, he's probably like a Black Knight equivalent. He'd probably murder me five seconds flat. But, uh, I don't know. That could be fun. Well, I'm doing pretty well on the souls front. What can I see? Ah! Wait, this is a way back down to the bonfire area. Or... Crap. I really gotta be careful with that. No, does it want me to jump over that place? I really can't see any other way. Like, I'm assuming all that up there is not part of the game. Whew! Okay, I got got it right. It's all in that. Pfft. I say. <laughs> That's not what I came for. Uh, what do you think? What's my chances if I uh, take on the guy in the middle? Does not seem promising, to tell you the truth. Maybe I should leave him be for the moment. Or at least figure out... Uh... I don't know, is this a boss gate? I gotta say, that looks pretty ominous. With these tree roots and whatnot. Enter the mist. I don't want to enter the mist. Oh well, well, he's the only one here. Let's see if you're every bit as horrible as you look like. Come on, get up. Definitely have some Black Knight in you. Okay. What's the... Oh! Oh! Okay. Might be a Ned Cavalry reject, but he hits hard. Not necessarily when you're expecting him to. Oh, well, I 
really feel like backstabbing him, but it's probably just a bad habit from a different game. Yep. This isn't gonna get me anywhere. Okay, that's really fast, but like the drinking it is of it is really slow. Okay, hitting him from behind may not actually be a good idea at all. Oh, God. Ow. Certain we're not look like, I'm looking for a, a safe time to hit this guy and it's not really happening. Yep. He always counters me. Either because I'm standing right behind him or because just fuck it. I'm a white knight. This is an epic waste of life gems, I'd say. That big overhand on the third swing is a, a chance, if I can get him to do it. Nope, now he just wants to do double hands. Yeah, man. I wonder if I should just be parrying this guy or something. I don't have the uh, confidence. Well, I killed him. Hello. I got something. I don't know if that always drops or just kind of drops, but I got something. And it looked like it was a prize for uh, taking him on when I didn't have to. The... That's a little better damage-wise. God knows my actual broadsword isn't doing very well. Straight sword originating in Hede. Hedi, or whatever it's called. Special alloy that makes it very durable. The composition of the alloy of these swords remains a mystery, but in Drang Lake, the attempt to imitate it has resulted in similar braden steel. Oh well, what's the stat requirements like? Just, just tell me if it's any good. Oh, I need some decks to use it. Then again, I've got four. I got four thousand souls. When did that happen? That guy surely wasn't worth that much all by himself. I don't recall. Uh, this ladder is freaking me out. If I want to go down a ladder, I don't think I should have to. It's like, oh, I must have had the menu open. Duh! Okay. Just gotta get used to the difference between climbing up a ladder, or, I mean, climbing a ladder and jumping off a ladder and <laughs> falling down a ladder. If I'm gonna get those mixed up, I'm gonna end up splat one day. Whew! Okay, back to the bonfire. Well, my souls are okay! That's good. I like it. What's that thing down the bottom? It's like one, one, one. Is it basically saying these are areas and here are the bonfires in the area? Ah, yes, that's it. Bonfire intensity. Don't know what that means, but uh, let's go back to Drain Lake for a sec. I mean, not Drain Lake. Let's go back to wherever this is. Majula, that's it. Got it. 
Got it eventually. Now, how does durability work in this game again? I had a feeling it was like if you rested a bonfire before your stuff breaks, your durability goes back. Something. Like, that seems weird to me, but, like, I think that was how it was. Here it is. So as long as you get to the bonfire before stuff breaks, you're probably okay. Anyway, still got a whole bunch of souls really early. Let's... Bearer of Seek. Yes, 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 I get it. Help me level up. I need to toughen up. Let's get those two points of dex so that I can use this weapon. I'll probably go for a bit of a quality split build during my first playthrough as far as dex and strength are concerned because that's usually the best way to try out a whole bunch of different weapons without going to like the extremes of strength. Because you can go to like the 50 strength weapons in Dark Souls but like you're pretty much stuck with them if you do that. <laughs> I want to try out the sword, so... Would be nice if there was a merchant I could buy a torch off, though. Because I really want to go back to that other place and, like, try stuff out. But I'm not getting anything. I've got this one Titanite piece, but that's nothing. Let's, uh, let's equip this new sword and see... ...if it's any good at what I need it to be. What's that value down there? Wait. Ah, okay. It's a bit heavier. Also, I'm getting my equipment screens mixed up. <laughs> Let's see. It's a bit of more of a straight sword than the other one. Broadsword's all about the slashing. This one's pretty much about the slashing too, except... Ooh, that's a neat... Little, uh... Swing. Swing and... Oh, oh, I'm using up too much stamina, but... Swing and poke. Slash, slash, slash. Ooh, lots of nice forward slashes there. You now I can see this being kind of neat. Now, shall I save up some souls so I can buy some stuff off the cat, or shall I... push on through the forest and see what's behind that fog gate? Well, I, I know I had a perfectly good bonfire warp I could have used, but... And I should have used it, because look at this. It's making me do everything again. Don't have to worry. Let's just sprint it. Let me down. <laughs> okay, I couldn't roll through it. Obviously open space, but that's okay. Let's just run. Very well. Let's see if this new sword uh, packs a punch. Alright. Hollow infantry armor. Well, no life for you. What about two hands like? A bit more like a chopping motion. And about double hand. Oh! Oh wait, that was my jump attack. I just did it by mistake. <laughs> Alright, come back stamina. I want to see... A double swing. Okay. Okay, not actually that special at all. Ah well, I was kind of hoping. I suppose I shouldn't be too disappointed. It's a perfectly good sword. And a little better than my broadsword, I think, so... Come on, warriors of the forest. That's yeah, pretty neat. The swings are pretty light. Help. I feel like 
there's a little particle that's appearing, but I don't know what it is about. Lightning? That would seem very strange if it was the case. Uh, equipment. Actually, no, look, it does lightning damage. Fancy that! Didn't even notice at first. Okay, this could be quite a boon, actually. Like, the overall damage doesn't seem that much different from the sword I had, but... You never know, this could be quite good. <laughs> Gets him up an Ari. Now, I wonder if that uh, white guy respawns. Or if he's a rare guy. I think anything can be respawned in this game by using human effigies, but... Oh no, he doesn't come back. That makes this bit rather easier. More hollow infantry armor. That isn't going to help me. Okay, so I defeated a rare guy, apparently. I don't know uh, if I should be proud of myself, or if that was just, like, super easy and everyone else is like, Oh, you wasted so many life gems. But, uh, I guess we'll find out later. I do like this sword. Probably not that great, but hey. Also, it looks like I overlooked the way to go around here. So it's probably good I came back. I wonder what this thing that is supposed to help me is uh, in this forest. As the dude said, as long as you don't go too far, you might find something to help you. Soul of a Nameless Soldier. Okay. I think I've got a view of what's behind the fog gate, but I can't really tell. And just because I can't see anything too awful back there doesn't mean that there isn't anything that awful back there. Yeah, it's a lot of souls though, for an early game where I might lose them all in some drastic accident. So, I'll tell you what. I'm going to make sure that I've spent my souls wisely. Let's go back to the cat. Because I don't necessarily need to level up, but I definitely need to invest. If I'm not going to invest in the levels, then I should invest in other things that will do me good down the line. That means rings and uh, equipment that I can actually use. Because I can't imagine my starting equipment's that great either, so maybe there's a bit of both. <laughs> Sorry if I'm uh, jumping back and forth a lot between here and Majula. Just um, this is this would be farming in any other playthrough, I'm sure, but. Uh, you know, I don't want to uh, underdo it or overdo it. Just going to take it carefully for the time being until I find some uh, some confidence in myself. No, oh, you're not sitting at the oh. desk anymore. <laughs> no, I'm not serious. Oh, really? You do have a rather pleasant scent. You're a comedian, are you? A type I'm quite fond of. Okay, okay. So, the cheapest ring is the Ring of the Evil Eye, which actually does sound useful. That would be good for multiplayer, but I don't plan on summoning any phantoms into my world, other than invaders. Because uh, I'm always I'm always very leery of 
having phantoms do all my work for me. If I could get the Ring of Whispers though, I'd actually prefer that. Nothing suit. Well, that's dis And I can probably get such a thing because there will be souls. Lots of souls. Oh wait. I completely forgot I can actually queue up consumables now. I don't have to do it this way anymore. Now, the worst part is I didn't make it. <laughs> you do have a rather a type, I'm... I want that ring of whispers though, Nothing. so I'm going to I'm going to do something to make sure I can get it. That means either looking I can either farm souls in the uh, the place betwixt, or I can go back to that uh, forest area. I think I'll just go back to the forest area. Can probably get some easy souls. Just killing some guys over and over. I want that ring. It sounds like it might be uh, a nice thing to have. The Ring of the Evil Eye would be nice too, but I can live without it for a while. Okay, let's be more proactive than before. I'm trying to uh, get a critical hit in there, but it looks like it's a lot harder to pull off now. I get some life gems just in case I run into something even more nasty down river or something. Not down river, but through that fog gate. Fifty souls a pop, this won't take too long. Him, but I'm just not getting any sort of parry animation. And I'm not sure it's certain if I'm missing the cue or if I'm just, uh, or if there is just no actual parry animation to be had. I guess we'll just have to, uh, maybe I, maybe I should uh, try while I'm here doing this to find out one way or the other. That gets an animation. Oh. this up real bad. Cost me a life gem and everything. This is no way to play. I'm kind of amused that I got a lightning weapon so early in the game. Even if it isn't very strong. Got some life gems for me. Thank you. And that, uh, that brings my soul count up to where I need it to be. So let's go get that ring of whispers and then we can uh, think about moving on. Go, Majula! Bolt stone, an altered state of titanite used to imbue weapons with lightning. 
Okay, so Lightning has its own Titanite now. Priest's Chime. Looks like the channel has tried has come back. In one form or another. That house is bothering me. I feel like I should be able to go inside. But I can't. Yes, yes. You're very funny. I have a cat just like you. Ring of Whispers. Can hear the voice of foes. Useful for locating hidden enemies and perhaps a few other things as well. Sounds good to me. Satisfied. I'll be around. Oh, thanks for that. Let's uh, let's put that ring on. Does it? I might have been wrong, but does that ring have durability? It does. Okay, I guess rings can break now too. 